You may know me from the webcam music videos I do, but today I'm doing something different and I'm doing an amateur cooking show. And what I have been doing is flipping through my little recipe book, which is one of my favorites from one of my favorite stores. And I'm not cooking anything out of it. Instead, I looked at what I bought, or my friend Patricia bought, which is Grosh beer. And I'm a classic girl, so I'm drinking it out of a martini glass. Don't the glasses make me look smarter while I pretend to do this cooking crap that I do for myself every day? I enjoy my cooking. We'll see if Patricia feels the same way. She might get a pay. So, the first thing I did was I took vegetables from the freezer and I boiled them. <laughs> And here they are. So they're just resting peacefully. Um, and that's an ice tray. Um, so they're resting peacefully while the rice does the same thing. So I, I made brown rice and I did mustard powder, garlic, um, black pepper, and oregano. I thought that might be a good idea. I tasted it earlier and it, it, it seems that it's not, but I'm sure that the peanut sauce will, oh by the way, it's a peanut sauce stir fry that we're making today. I'm sure the peanut sauce will cure whatever I did to ruin that rice concoction. So, uh, I'm not really sure where I'm starting here. So what I, I guess I should probably do is put some olive oil in this gigantic frying pan. And see, I know how to use buttons on my oven. Took me a while. I don't want to tell how long. Because I really look like a jackass then. So, we start with some olive oil. I'm pretending like I'm doing something worthwhile there. And then I'm going to go like this. And all those bad boys go in there. And I guess what I would do normally if there wasn't a camera in my face, I would start doing spices. So, and I don't believe in teaspoons, tablespoons, or all that other crap. I believe in Amy's eyes. So, whoop, just kidding. Uh, oh, shoot. Well, see, this is what happens when, you know, you're wearing glasses that are prescribed to you. <laughs> you miss the fine path. Just kidding. Actually, you know what? I should wear glasses because half the time I can't see what I'm doing. So, and I usually blame it on uh, the beer. So, which I will have another sip of because I'm stressed out. All right, so then, see this magical thing? I think these people should sponsor me because I go through a lot of the sriracha sauce when I make everything. So, because I like things a little spicy in my life, you know? And I believe that this provides that, fills that hole. So, then what I'll do is go like this. I'm not going to sing like that other chef, because then I will get sued. So, so we get that simmering and doing all, there are a lot of carrots in there. Maybe that will cure my eyesight. Then, I add this peanut stuff. I wish I was pretending I made this from scratch. In fact, if I was smarter, I would have put it in a bowl and definitely pretended. So then I go like this. Right? Just enough to add peanut stuff to it. And then I go like this. And why am I doing this? Like, come on, Amy. So, then, I'm sure Patricia's gonna, I actually asked her via the farce bug uh, message if she liked peanut stuff, and she said she did. So, we'll see if she's lying. So while that's kind of simmering, oh, actually, you know what, I gotta do one more thing. Uh, I need another spoon. Um, I know no cable network is going to pick this up. I know that. I'm not even gonna pretend like my dreams of having an amateur cooking show are going to be realized. But you know what? Sometimes I think people need to know how to make stuff that professionals don't make, like experimental stir fries. <laughs> That was cumin, by the way. If you, you know a little history of cumin, um, is you should probably go on Wikipedia to find that out. Because um, this girl doesn't know. 
and all I know is it makes things taste magnificent. It's the spice that I think is necessary to every life. Yep. All right. So I, I decided since um, I have no chicken, that sunflower seeds apparently would be a great option. So I washed my hands. Don't worry. So we're going to have a little bit of crunch to our vegetables. And I also have pumpkin seeds because I've also, and they're organic because I believe in doing that sometimes when I can afford it. And guess what? I could. So, there we go. Um, so we'll add some more nuttiness to this. Well, I'm already a nut, so we're just, you know, adding to the equation here. Uh, do you like nuts, Patricia? I do. How about these ones? How about this one? So. All of the above. All right. All right. So. Next, we're gonna add some onions. See how I, I chop in a vertical fashion so that I'm actually chopping and such. I do not feel self-conscious at all. So, I'm probably gonna regret this in the morning, but whatever. I've always wanted to do a cooking show. And if you have childhood dreams that you think are delusional like I do, you should still follow them. How's it looking? Do you actually want to eat this? Absolutely. Yeah? You're the only one in this room. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually do too. Because I can smell the cumin. Oh man, baby, I love it. Okay. So now that the onion has died, We'll put that in. I'm going to pretend like I do that composting thing. So that's a compost bag. And I am going to add parsley. You think that's a good idea? I do. Me too. <laughs> I really should probably use a measuring device. But you know what? That's not how this girl rolls. So. And that would make things boring. Right? You got it. No boring in this house. No boring in this house. No room for that. You can ask my parents. I was the least boring child, that's for sure. I, uh, not in a good way, always. actually, probably more in a bad way. But I went on adventures when I was like two years old that just, that included uh, the Avondale and neighborhood visiting <laughs> without my parents. <laughs> So, doesn't this look like a gigantic mess of something? Woo! It smells awesome. It does, doesn't it? I'm going to have another sip while I contemplate what I'm doing. Mmm. Grosh. It's the beer of cooks. Uh, you think we should add this? It's an orange pepper. I think so. We got carrot orange in there, but maybe we need another orange color, too. It's, it's sweet. It is sweet. Maybe it'll do some stuff for the cumin... I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so here. My mother taught me a secret. She'd be so proud to watch this. I, am, I wash my vegetables in this soap, antibacterialize them, because I don't believe that I should ingest pesticides. I don't think you should either. In fact, I don't think you should put pesticides on stuff. If the birds eat them, let the birds eat them. They need to eat too. Okay, so now I gotta put this down because I'm deep frying our stir fry. And we don't want that. So, I'm gonna go down to one. That's what she said. And, mmm, Amy. You really outdid yourself. Okay, so. It's so good. I go like this, and then I go like this. I know there's a term for that, but I don't know it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna... Dicing? Okay, we'll go with that. That sounds right. I'm dicing. Slowly, because I don't want to go to the emergency room. And, ow, and I almost said... So, um, uh, these are not... I go, and they won't do anything to me. I won't try that, because we don't need that in our lives. So, 
And neither of us drive right now, so that would be a long walk to the emergency room. Okay, so. Well, this is really exciting, eh? Woo! I'm sure nobody is going to watch this video. So I am very confident in the fact that I could still be a jackass and put this online and, you know, realize my dream of cooking show Austin and still not be embarrassed to walk down the street. So, how do you like them apples? Do you like them? Do you like those apples? I like them apples. Alright. Somebody ran out of olive oil and that really sucks. But you know what? It's okay. I will get over it. Okay, so I think that's enough orange pepper crops for that. So, um, would you like some of this in there? Gourmet red pepper flakes? Absolutely. Why not? Um, I probably should measure this one, but tell me when. When. All right. See, that's a good measuring technique, too. All right, we're almost done punishing ourselves with this because once I do this, all right, so, all right, don't get close up to that because I would want to look at it. No, I'm just kidding. It actually looks, you know what, it tastes better than it looks. I know it does. I swear to God it does. Um, so when we're all done, this is what happens. We have our... Oh, they, my, I guess my TV show crew didn't put the stuff on the plate for this moment. So, these plates will be full of stuff soon. And get good help around here. Um, and I want to thank you very much for being a part of my dream come true of hosting a cooking show. And I'm pretty sure this is probably the only installment of this uh, series of one episode. <laughs> Unless I get brave and think to do otherwise. But thank you very much. And uh, we're going to eat now.